Hey there. Did you buy a new mask yesterday? Really? Yes. I did. No. I didn't. Did you follow the rules of lockdown last week? Yes. I did. No. I didn't. Okay. Respected students, I welcome you on behalf of LG Sialkot Pakistan and also from Global Consultancy Sialkot. Just let me take off. Okay. Today we are going to learn about past tense as we have already learned about present simple tense. Let's get started. You know that past tense refers to the past event happenings, the time that had passed. Okay. Past tense shows an action that occurred in the past. It also shows the past routine using used to. I used to live with my uncle in the past. We used to play hide and seek when we were kids. They used to talk against us. Okay. So, past simple or past indefinite, there are some hints that should be kept in mind to learn this tense. Okay, this one. Yesterday, last night, last week, previous ago. These adverbs will help you to learn the past tense. Let's talk about how to make positive sentences. We are going to use V2. Okay, whether our subject is third person singular, first person, second person, whatever. We are going to use V2. V2 means the second form of the verb. Went, took, played, passed, cheated, deceived, achieved. Okay, just keep one thing in your mind that you have to learn the irregular verbs in order to be perfect in past simple because there are some verbs that can be handled using ed past past fail failed okay achieve achieved deceive deceived but there are some irregular verbs that have different forms in the first and second and then the third one like give gave given speak spoke spoken write wrote written give gave given take took taken okay you have to learn the irregular form of verbs that would help you in present perfect in past perfect in future perfect and in past simple tense well, we are going to use V2 in order to make positive sentences like I have written an example here. He helped me yesterday. I bought a new car. I bought a new surgical mask in order to save and protect myself from coronavirus. Okay. Here is an example that you are going to use the second form of the verb I went there yesterday. He learned a new lesson last night. We played hockey last week. Okay, let's move to make it negative. We have did not to make it negative in past simple so it's easier than the present simple tense because in present simple you would use do or does with he she it's in the name you are going to use does with i we they you you are going to use do but here you are going to use did not and after didn't 
you are going to use v1 first form of the verb why because did will tell you that this sentence belongs to past so this is the common mistake the non native speakers makes that they used it they used did not and then they put v2 instead of v1 another mistake that most of the non native speakers make that the thing that we cannot make past simple until unless we use was were okay please do not use was were most of the students write like this he was help me yesterday they were thinking that was would show that this tense is past no my dear v2 is showing that this tense belongs to past simple so these are the two common mistakes non native speakers make that they put v2 after did not and they use was were in the past tense whenever you have your action verb go went gone action verb speak spoke spoken give gave given take took taken okay past 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 fail failed failed you do not need to use was were or is am i in the present tense and was were in the past tense okay i have written an example here he did not help me yesterday help okay you may use he didn't for contraction he didn't help me yesterday okay so for interrogative for negative i have written for examples here he did not go to college yesterday last night i didn't watch a movie number 3 he did not leave this city a week ago john did not reach the goal last year remember there is another mistake most of the non native speakers commit and that is using the preposition after these verbs okay he reached at the station he reached at the station it's incorrect he reached the station we cannot use preposition after reach so reach love marry hate attack resemble okay when you resemble take off to someone by faces reach attack marry resemble inform order attack he attacked on me it's incorrect he attacked me okay you cannot use on after attack whenever attack is used as a verb so remember most of the non native speakers put preposition after these verbs i have written some and i would tell you in future in any other video okay so let's make it interrogative okay you are going to use while making interrogative did subject v1 you would use did in the beginning did he help me yesterday did he help me yesterday did you break the chair last night did you see a dreadful dream last night okay so to making it interrogative you are going to put did in the beginning of the sentence did he break the chair in the last lecture did you give up smoking last year give up is a phrasal verb it means leave to give up something did john tell a lie and if you want to make it interrogative double interrogative using wh words why where when what whom whose you are going to put wh words in the beginning then you are going to use did subject v1 object i have shown in the slide that you can see why where when what how whom so in the beginning of the sentence you are going to use wh 
plus date plus subject plus v1 first form of the verb and then the object why did you go there yesterday okay and if you want to answer this question why did you go there yesterday you would say i went there yesterday remember you are going to use i went not i go there yesterday to meet my uncle i went there yesterday to meet my uncle again most of the non native speakers whenever they use past in their answer they ignore did and they get less score in ielts in their intermediate examination in their graduation examination please keep in mind how did he cheat you the way here the person who is asking the question he is asking how did he cheat you you have to tell the way like if you want to answer this question how did he cheat you he cheated me in different ways like by shedding the tears he cheated again we too he cheated me if you say he cheats me he cheat me it would be incorrect keep in mind okay the last one when did they attack us again no preposition when did they attack on us do not apply the rules of your language whenever you are learning english okay when did they attack us they attack us last night when we were sleeping they attacked you would use v2 to make it correct okay uh, i have given some homework you may send me you can see my number that is written here and if you are an international student you belong to india malaysia china you may add 0092 then 3214650020 okay so you can take a screenshot and then send me the homework thanks if you like this video please do subscribe my channel and hit the icon bell so that you may get more videos in future only one thing can make you perfect in any foreign language and that is practice stay at home stay safe thank you